Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Last time we were here, we were with Price, trying to take over a Russian uh, freighter that had a nuke in it, and then the Saudi Arabian president, prince, whatever, well, he got shot in the face. But, we're here to rescue Nikolai. Now, as always, if you lads find that you enjoy this channel, content, or my general doofiness, likes, dislikes, bell icon, and comments, all help the channel tremendously with YouTube's algorithm, getting us out to new users allowing us to grow as a community. So likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments, general engagements, help. It really does matter, and I appreciate your help. If you guys want to come hang out with me and have not done so already, feel free to join the Discord, link in the description. And I'd really appreciate if you guys could go ahead and subscribe as well. But with that said, let's get back to Modern Warfare. Uh, Nikolai! Where are you, buddy? Oh, hello. Somebody is shooting at me. Oh, you're friendlies? Oh, they're friendlies. They're the good Russians. Car's probably gonna explode. There we go. That RPG did shit. Go around to the back and cover power. So get ready. Oh, okay. You're gonna take that side, Price. I see how it is. Guys, do it. Yes. Yes. Any day now. There you go. Took him long enough. So the scene when you're clearing the house in Modern Warfare 1, uh, with the rem uh, Modern Warfare 2019, was really, really good. Like, they were on point. So, I can definitely see that they were trying to take that from this. I mean, nice try on his part. Oh, those are friendlies. Gotcha! Can I shoot out that light? No, I can't. Apparently, that light is bullet resistant. Go figure. Damn, I think I can't. Oh, he had a flashlight. Never mind. Hello, are you Nikolai? Hello, friend. We speak English. It's him. Nikolai, are you all right? Can you walk? Yes, I can still fight. Thank you for getting me out of here. Big Bird, this is Bravo 6. We have the package. Meet us at LZ-1. Over. Bravo 6, this is Big Bird. We're on our way. Out. Let's go. Now, where exactly is the door? I know I just came in, but I'm a little lost. Price! Any day now, bud. Wait, did you guys- Oh, you went a different direction. You know, for a guy that got the crap kicked out of him, it's amazing he's still able to be, like, combat worthy. Granted, we don't know exactly what he went through, other than probably getting crappy to have him. Did the Americans already attacked Al Assad? No, their invasion begins in a few hours. Why? The Americans are making mistakes. They will never take Al Assad alive. America making a mistake? In the Middle East? Oh, never. What? Never. Never happens. Our government is perfect, we never make mistakes. USA, USA. God damn though, they weren't joking about an invasion. Marines, spotters have a possible fix on all Assad in a building at the west end of this town. We're gonna secure the perimeter and grab all the sides. Hurrah! Lock and load. Shoreline coming into view. Copy, Striker 6 4. Be dry in 10 seconds. Copy. Alright, let's do it. Taking fire here. Roger that. We've got all So, apparent. Okay, so. This is actually realistic. 
I was curious about that. I'm like, would the U.S. actually just full-blown invade Saudi Arabia if they ended up coming under a dictator like this? Like, out of the blue? Actually, we might. We have a joint defense pact with Saudi Arabia. So, say, for example, Iran manages to magically launch a missile somehow and hit the U.S., right? The Saudis would defend us. Alternatively, if the Iranians were decided to, to attack Saudi Arabia, the U.S. will get involved. So, yeah, this could fall in line with that. So even back then, this was on point. Yeah, I'm sure this war will, uh, won't be another long, drawn-out conflict that's going to cost billions in tax dollars. Um, am I in the right spot? No? Blow the charge. There we go. Go, go, go! Clear! Jackson, take point. Sir, yes, sir! Oh. Hey, guys, catch! I hit absolutely nothing. Alright, where are the bad guys? Where am I where in the hell am I being shot from exactly? Excuse me. Hey guys, you wanna help me? Friends? Hi! Oh, okay, okay. There we go. See, no more problems. Okay, still problems. Now, no more problems. See, all good. Don't worry, guys. I softened them up for you. All call signs. Check the bodies. We need a positive ID on Al Assad. What, did you think he was going to be in that basement? No sign of Al Assad here, sir. H2, this is Red Dog. Target building is secure, but we don't have Al Assad. Over. Roger that HQ out. At this point, this guy's a damn cockroach. He could be any... At this point, any part of the country. I mean, unless we have a positive ID on him from satellite. Oh, crap. God damn it. See the one, wait, am I actually, oh, I actually am taking fire from the cell. All right. Reload. I actually wasn't sure if I was empty or not. Crap. Where the hell, oh. I get, where are my battle buddies? I had guys behind me. Oh, that guy's looking at me. How how am I alive? I would really like to know where I'm being shot from exactly. It's like, I have friends with me. I'm taking shots from, like, everywhere. Oh, there you are, you sneaky butthole. Alrighty, we're... Oh. There we are. guys are down. Oh, technical. I missed every shot. Not gonna lie, part of me cannot wait to start Modern Warfare 2 just because I actually have it on PC. I don't have this on PC, so that's the only reason why I'm playing it here. So I'm playing this on Xbox. Oh. You know, I'm trying to, like, notice, like, little things. I'm pretty certain parts of that helicopter weren't actually rendered. Whoop, frag. Oh, 
Damn it. We never ran into Al Assad, right, in uh, the new Modern Warfares. Like, I, th I know he came up in, what was it, the Warzone, I think, after Modern Warfare 1. Honestly, I'm going to say this. I kind of hate Warzone. Because I feel like if you don't keep up with Warzone... Like, it's a deliberate marketing move. Let's be honest. They're continuing the campaign through Warzone. And it forces you to play Warzone. So if you want to keep up with the Modern Warfare story, you got to play Warzone. And if you don't play War, uh, you know, Warzone, you're missing out on content. So it kind of annoys me. Oh shit! Watch your fire. Did I not just come this way? Target building in sight. Station locked down and surrounded, sir. Good. Get in position to breach. Wait, didn't they use this DV station in Black Ops 4 for the blackout mode? This building looks very familiar. Like, not even for the fact that I, you know, obviously I played Modern Warfare a while back. But no, I mean, I feel like this was in uh, Black Ops. Or maybe it was Warzone? Maybe they reused this in Warzone, and that's what I'm thinking of. Do it. Breaching, breaching! Go, go, go! So this is going to be one of those games where friendlies don't actually do their jobs and they're relying on you to do it. Uh, oh, okay. There you go, those guys are smoked. Yeah, I'm just thinking. These guys with these, like, uh, balaclavas on their faces while they're, you know, in the middle of a firefight, it can't be the most comfortable thing. I don't know, I just feel like that would just be, like, itchy, kind of sweaty. You're sitting there running around with, a, you know, all this heavy equipment on. Uh, unless it's, like, some kind of, um, looks like goggles or some kind of, like, what is it? Not, not Kevlar mask. I, I don't know if that's, what's that? Ballistic mask, that's the terminology. Unless like a ballistic mask, I don't know, is, is there any real value to a ski mask like that, especially when you're in the Middle East. I feel like you'd want, like, obviously you need your body armor and whatnot, but in terms of, like, general clothing, you'd want as little layers as possible in order to, you know, to keep as cool as possible, especially when you're in the middle of a firefight. Again, I mean, this, this is me as a civilian talking out of my ass. Just thinking out of my ass. Did I say at my ass? I meant out my ass. I'm not thinking at my ass. I'm not thinking of my ass. No. Oh shit. I mean, I am an ass. I think of myself as an ass. Um. That's friendly. Those are bad guys. God damn it! I was that, that area was clean. Friggin' terrorists. Where are you? Room clear. Move up. Al Assad should be on the second floor. Should be, or we know that he is. Also, I mean, Price is kind of an asshole. Not gonna lie, because we didn't really get told or anything like, oh hey, so the SAS is saying not to invade. So. Wasn't like anybody Hold your fire. told us, hey, out. things are gonna go sideways for you. No sign of Al Assad, sir. Alright. Fall in Marines. Stay frosty. Sir, yes, sir. Mm, nice break room. So honestly, if the current standing Saudi government was basically evaporated by, uh, by a terror cell like this, 
and Uncle Sam had to storm in and mop up said terrorists. I have no reason to believe that we wouldn't try to install like a proper democracy and kind of do away with the monarchy. More or less, it'd probably be a puppet state. Like, let's just be honest here. Like, see, this guy's got the right idea. This is what I'm talking about. Look at him. He's got no sleeves on. He's keeping cool. He's got his, te he's got his gear on. He this, is go this man is good. This man is good. Griggs, good for you, bud. He knows what he's doing. He's keeping cool and kicking ass. He sounds happy in there. He sounds like Middle Eastern Hitler. He does kind of sound like Middle Eastern Hitler. Like if, if, if Hitler was from Saudi Arabia, I feel like they'd be this guy. Shut up! Roof's not here. It's on a loop. Broadcast is recorded. <laughs> yeah. Score one for military intelligence. Griggs, turn that off. Roger that. Got it. Turn it off. Anyway. Man, this is Red Dog. Oh. No sign of Al Assad. The broadcast is a recording. Over. Yeah. Oorah. Roger that command. Out. Marines, rally up! Oh shit! Bed frag! Bed frag! Get your gear and get ready to move out. Let's go! We're good! We're good! I totally didn't mean to do that. Warpig. Alpha Company's tank is stuck half a click north of here. We gotta hustle. Let's go! Sir, yes, sir! Ura! There was something I wanted to ask. I can't. Oh, yeah, Warpig. Yeah, all I can think of is. You know for a fact nowadays. Millennials, Gen Z, in war. I definitely feel like they'd probably come up more comedic call signs. Kind of like the shit that we had back in Arma. One of our call signs um, for our tanks was Milf Hammer. Okay, yeah. Uh, I thought I had friends behind me. Alright, we're going to try to push up and hopefully not get shot. So, where am I going exactly? He said to push up. I'm pushing up. Mayhaps I'm pushing too far. Oh, I was pushing the wrong way. Okay. There we go. Just clearing this out for our boys. Hi, guys! Oh, you just noticed me. Anybody home? Oh, hi! Clear. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you for the cover. And this is a toilet. That's yeah, usually it's technically a toilet. Clear. I can't Clear. see it though. 
Oh, it's like to kill me. Oh, wait, their machine gun? Oh, why do they have a, a, an American MG? I'm actually trying to follow their laser to get an idea where the enemy is. So where exactly am I going here? I'm just, oh, okay. I kind of get the impression that cars wouldn't blow up like that. Tell me in the comment section if you disagree. For some reason, I just feel like, realistically, if you shoot a car enough, it's not just going to explode. Like, if the engine's off, it's not really burning fuel. I mean, I guess it's possible if something shorts out and starts leaking fuel, the, uh, you know, the shorted out cables could possibly ignite the fuel, causing an explosion. Possible. But to the extent that, like, every car that you shoot will always explode, I just, I kind of feel like that's ridiculous. Just don't feel like that's going to actually happen. Where is the javelin? It is somewhere. Right there. Oh god. Sure, I'll do it when I'm dead. Well, after I'm done bleeding. Alright, so there's our tanks. Hopefully I don't get shot. Javelin out. Jackson, get to the second floor and take out those tanks. Uh, a little late for that boss. Rocket away. I'm doing the exact opposite of what my boss tells me, and I'm still doing good at it. Did I not get it? I think I got him. I got him. I got him. I think. Uh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Now see, the game didn't tell me to keep the javelin, so I'm going to assume I did nothing wrong. Alright, there's Warpig. Just the four of us left. How many people are in an Abrams typically? So I want to say there's a gunner, a reloader, a driver, and the commander, right? So it would only ever really be four guys in a tank anyway. Oh shit! Spec Ops mission or something with this, where you have to survive with the uh, war pig specifically. Like you, you aren't the reinforcements; you're the crew that got pinned down, or something like that. Where the hell did oh RPG? Where?
crap. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is gonna be one of those recordings. Alright, so we're making... Oh god, I'm probably gonna die here. I gotta fall back. Ooh, I'm gonna hide behind this wall. Hopefully breathe. Shoot that bad guy. Alright, so if I can run the objective, maybe I can not die. Why is nobody using the MGs on the tank? Flank into the self. So the guys that I'm shooting at were already, you know. Wow, okay. Out of everyone to shoot at, you shoot me with RPG. Screw you and all of your friends. And your mother, her specifically. Why his mother? Because she gave birth to him. So he's a dick and so is she. Am I playing with nerf guns? No, yes, I was missing that guy, I realized that. But I, I threw a grenade and somehow Frag didn't kill him. All right, so we're moving. I was gonna say, oh, so I do need the javelin. Hmm. I mean, I could steal an enemy RPG. Push comes to shove. There's plenty of them. Oh dear lord, where am I being? Sh oh, it's one of these guys in the down position. Son of a you, son of a duck. Oh no, that was. Oh, okay, it was that guy. I thought it was a friendly. All right, I think we. Oh yeah, that is a problem. There you go. Target out. Oh, I actually have to blow it up. Okay. Um. Oh no, that's friendly. I have a bad habit of blueing, uh, blue on blueing people. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, I should probably get away from this. Didn't I do it already? How do I... Oh, okay. Magically, I just have this. Okay. Positive ID on your sparkle. We're coming in half on northeast. Stand by. There they are. USA! USA! I wonder what disabled the tank. I don't know if they ever actually say it. Listen up. We don't have much time to get this tank out of here. We'll take up defensive positions around the bog here, here, and here, and buy the engineers some time to get the tank moving. Hoorah! Hoorah! No, oh, uh, question, sir. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, maybe we should have had the helicopters hang out on standby while we're repairing the tank. Crazy idea, I know, but maybe that would have been a good idea. Uh, guys? Guys? Flares? Flares? Okay, never mind. We don't have flares. Apparently, we can't afford them.
Somebody doesn't know how to fly a helicopter. You're still in one piece. Get up. Oh. Come on, we need to get moving before the search parties get here. Hey, how's the pilot? Casualty report. Four How's seven, both pilots are dead, sir. Of Bunker. course. All right, the extraction point's not far from here. Let's move out. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to wrap this one for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. As always, if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy my doofiness, any and all engagements you guys leave helps this channel to grow. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, and comments all help the channel tremendously with YouTube's algorithm, and I appreciate your help. If you guys want to come hang out with me and have not done so already, feel free to join our Discord link in the description. I'd also appreciate if you guys could go ahead and subscribe as well. Uh, but engagements do matter as they encourage YouTube's algorithm to keep you guys up to date with the channel and just helps us to grow. But with that said, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. I'll see you later. Later, guys.